Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix, here with you now in episode 31 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we did, we got a good amount of heart pieces, and then we made it to this new area, Zora's River slash Zora's Domain. And I'm here now, right in front of the waterfall that leads to Zora's Domain, and as you can see, I have a cuckoo in hand. I didn't epically fail this time, I got it on the first try off camera. So now, we can go ahead and let's just line ourselves up here, well, there's a good look at the heart piece there for you, and fly over to it. And that is our fourth heart piece, completing another heart container, meaning we have half of the total amount of hearts you can possibly have in this game. I know, isn't it going by just so fast? Well, trust me, it's not going to go by that fast for much longer. I know, but seriously, we have half of the total possible amount of hearts in the entire game before even getting to the third dungeon. That's crazy, man. Anyways, so yeah, we're going to do some more story progression here now because that's pretty much all we have left to do uh, until we have access to a certain new area and then we have a few things, well like pretty much one thing to do that'll take a minute or so which is side questy kind of but it's an important item so I'm gonna pick it up so anyways um now we now what you wanna do actually is we're gonna go back up to the big blubber, blubber butts room up here I wonder if he's related to that big fat ass frog and Twilight Princess, you know, the mini boss of the water temple. Let's talk to him. Oh, my dear sweet Princess Ruto. Where has she gone? I'm so worried. Shut up, Blubbergut. Um, well, as you can imagine, we're probably going to have to. F He's probably going to ask us at some point to find his daughter. Uh, isn't that just typical of a video? Diving game, 20 rupees. Want to play? Sure, why not? I have plenty of rupees to spare. Okay, pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You have only a limited amount of time. And yes, you do get to keep the rupees that you pick up in this game. And this is also a very easy game. It's kind of, it's pretty hard to fail at this. Basically, it throws five blue rupees down to the water. You have to dive down and pick them all up. And I think you get like a minute to do or something. No, 50 seconds. Of, well, that's still plenty more time than you need. See, I already got one just from my initial dive. And sometimes, if they're like close, close enough together, then you can pick up two in one dive. Let's see if I can do that right here, actually. No, not close enough. If I'd just been like an inch closer, then it would have worked, but no. It just had to be a little bit away. Oh well, I already won. Hey, congratulations. I've got something very nice for you. Come and get it. Okay. Let's go get whatever he wants to give us. And let me tell you, it's a very important item. In fact, you need it to complete this thing. This isn't a side quest or anything. It's actually required. Uh, imagine that. Anyways, uh, I haven't been able to think of much to talk about for these past episodes, like, just last episode alone, I'm pretty sure you could probably tell that I didn't have much to talk about, I was just talking about exactly what I was doing, and if I'm just doing that, why even bother commentating at all? Well, why commentate? Because it's fun, that's why. So, oh my god, nice angle. What a graceful dive. Now, please take this. This is a scale of our kind. Why is there, like, quotes around the word scale? Is it, like not a real scale or something like whatever, whatever we got the silver scale um we can now dive deeper than we could before before we could only dive for three seconds now we can dive for six uh, be careful of this rock over here when diving off that waterfall because you can hit it you can, and you like hit your head and you hurt yourself i'm not sure how much damage it does but i'm sure it's not very fun so anyways you probably you probably saw this hole down here a little bit ago and this actually leads up to lake hylia Hey, what is, wait a second, I just saw something down there. What is that? Navi's targeting it. Let's go pick it up. Hmm, what could this be? Ooh, just as nighttime comes. You got an empty bottle. Press, put something inside and press C to use it. What? Something's already inside? What the fuck? That's just not right, man. Why, why is there, why is there something inside of an empty bottle? The, ga the game promised me it was an empty bottle and... It, now they're saying it's not because there's something inside of it. Did, did the game lie to me? Can I can I ever trust a video game ever again? Well, you can't trust many video games with anything. So whatever. Anyways, what you want to do... Actually, what I'm going to do now while I'm here... You're going to need a fish for this upcoming part. And there's two things you can do to get a fish. One, you can go in here and buy one for 200 rupees. Or you can head over here... And you can just use an empty bottle and pick one of these fish up. And to me that doesn't really look like a fish, it looks like a bottle full of water, but I can't be the judge of that. Anyways, 
Yeah, so if you want to waste 200 rupees, be my guest, but I think it's far more convenient to do it that way. Anyways, now we're going to want to head up here, and we're going to need that me that letter in a bottle. And I suppose we can read it first. Let's, I mean, it's in there. Why would you not read it? If I picked up a letter in a bottle, I'd read it. Huh? It looks like there's something that's already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me. I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Ruto. P.S. Don't tell my father. Ruto? Wasn't that that princess that this blubber gut guy up here was talking about? Well, I guess we should go ahead and uh, get show him the letter because she specifically told us not to tell him, so that's exactly what we should do. Ho! This letter is from Princess Ruto. Hmm, let's see. She's inside of Lord Jabu Jabu? That's not possible. That's implausible. Our, our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. Who used to say that, who used to say that he ate her? Maybe she went in of her own free will. I never think about that. But since that stranger Gandorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. Ooh. The evidence seems clear. Of course you'll find Ruto. You pass through You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle that it was in. Take it. Respectfully. Respectfully yours, Thomas Wigglebottom. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. Zora! One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 25 or 26 times. Wow. Just wow. I told you he was a fat ass. He must be real he must be a descendant or I guess an ancestor of the fat ass frog and Twilight Princess. So when he's yeah, we got an empty bottle. That's nice. And yeah. Uh, I was about to say something kind of important, but I can't think of it now. Ooh, it's nighttime here. I can barely see anything. Anyways, this is Zora's fountain. And there's a big fat ass fish over there. He's even fatter than Lord Blubber got there. Anyways, I'm gonna make it daytime just so I can see better. Because it's probably a good idea to be able to see a video game before you can play it. Unless you're like an epic blindfold runner. If you want to do a game blind, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so what you're first gonna wanna do is not go anywhere near that big fish that's the obvious thing that they want to lure you to. But first, but first and foremost, you want to go over this way. And I'm not sure how much time I have left, but whatever. So over here, there will be a certain little plot of land. And as you can see, I just walked along the edge there because it's much faster than swimming. And first you want to roll into this tree. And whether it's day or nighttime, a skull shadow will fall out. So that's always good. And I believe that puts us up to 22. Thank you. And now, um, uh, what you want to do here is you want to take out some bombs. And even though there's no indication here really at all, you can put a bomb here. And we're going to step back, watch it go boom. And it opens up this secret little cavern here. Hmm, this, is, this looks kind of interesting. Ooh, a great fairy's fountain. A third of the game. But you know what? I think we're pretty much running out of time here. Um... You know what? Screw it. That's not how you play that. That's not how you play. Fail. There we go. Yeah, I, th I don't think I have much time left, so this probably won't get all get into the episode. But I'll just cut it if I have to. You know what? Yeah. I don't want you guys to see this right now, so this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.